impossible to imagine a dinner party without meat on the table. This is probably more of a challenge for carnivores than vegetarians, who find delicious ways of substituting meat on an everyday basis. Chef Bani Pariachi has plenty of ideas for a meatless dinner party, and she shared this specially curated menu with Mela. Vegetarian dishes are an age-old part of traditional Indian cooking, but there is still something of a novelty in other parts of the world. Chef Bani! Exactly. Welcome. We're going to do an amazing vegetarian feast, a dinner party. How does that sound to you? Veg as a main for me these days sounds amazing. If you told me that 10 years ago, I would have told you to go jump. <laughs> okay, where do we start? We're going to do a braised yellow dal, okay? So the dal's cooked nice and mush, and it's got a lovely creamy texture to it. So. I'm going to start off our braising. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add in the ghee. A little bit of dried chilies. And all I do is I don't really break them, I just squish them. Okay. Just to release the oil as well. A little bit of ginger garlic puree. And I'm just going to saute that out for a second. So I'm going to add a little bit of cumin seeds to that. And that's just going to cook for a second. And the next is our Kashmiri spice cumin, a little bit of coriander, turmeric. I'm just I'm going to add some salt in now and just give it a good stir. Oh, can you smell that already coming through? Oh. Next is our onions. So we're making basically a good tatka. Yes. And that's cooking away beautifully. So I'm going to add some of the tomato concasse. And the reason I use tomato concasse is that we don't want the pits of the tomatoes and we don't actually want the skin as well. Okay. So I blanch it, I take the skins off okay. and the insides out. Oh, it smells so good already. Next, I'm going to add in our dal. So this is going to cook for about five to ten minutes on this medium heat. And then I'm going to get the next ingredients, which is for Rajma Galotti. No vegetarian feast is completed without Rajma Galotti. And Rajma Galotti is red kidney beans that's been soaked, boiled and blended to a mush. It's almost like a mash. Yes. And then I've made a filling of cashew nuts, sultanas, fried onions, coriander and chilli. Have a taste. You don't have to ask me to ask. I'm going to take that and a spoon and I'll see you later. <laughs> to make our rajma galotti, it's very simple. Once we've boiled our red kidney beans, we put it through a blender, blended it, and I've added one potato to that, otherwise it, it doesn't hold sustenance. So you want a good, firm dough. And all I'm going to do is just roll it into a ball and almost make a well in the center. Okay. So you're going to take a good pinch of filling and press that in and just bring your patty together so you don't actually see your filling. Okay. And that's a perfect tiki. And that's a little perfect tiki. <laughs> oh, our doll's ready. So let me plate that. Oh, that looks so good already. Smells amazing. Are you going to make a few more tickies? For you. <laughs> Anything. Set that aside. I'm going to lean over and just clip some coriander. Final garnish. And then I'm going to put them on the table and I'll come back and we can fry some of the rajma galoti. Yay! Oh, those look gorgeous. Thank you. So we're ready to fry our rajma galoti. So all I need is some ghee. And we want not too much of ghee. And all we're doing is we're just going to seal them off because it's already cooked and we're just giving it a bit of a crunch. And then to serve this, once it's cooked, I've made a coriander mint chutney. Yum! You can see they're all nice and crispy. Now, this is just going to melt in your mouth. And we just want to place them randomly. Zach, can you cut some coriander just to garnish? Not a lot, just a few sprigs. Perfect. And that's it. I'm going to hand you the dal. So would you take these two to the table and I will get the next dish ready. You might not find them there. Oh dear. <laughs> 
Vani, the veggie whisperer, what is that? <laughs> so the next dish is we're going to make a dam alu korma. So all it is is baby potato that I've peeled and then we hollow it out. And then I've not thrown out the inside, so we've actually deep fried it. And I've added in some paneer, some fried onions, sultanas, chilli and a little bit of cumin and fresh coriander in there. So have a little taste. What's in there that's so fresh? Coriander. Mmm, it's delicious. So, Zach, what you're going to do for me is, please, can you fill in these, just like this, but you really want to get quite a bit of filling in. While you're doing that, I'm going to heat up the korma sauce. Now, with the korma sauce, I've pre-made some. It is quite a lengthy process. It's made with cashew nuts, onions, and chilies boiled and then blended and then brought down to a reduction with some yogurt in it. So while you do that, I'll heat up this and we can put them together. And I'm going to heat this up very gently. A little bit of salt in. How are we doing there? Very well. Can you smell that green cardamom coming through? Yes. My sauce is ready for your stuffed dum aloo. Just chuck them in. Gently. All they need is a few minutes just to infuse with the korma sauce. So I'll let that bubble a second. Oh, that's looking good. So, Zach, this is ready, so I'm going to pass you the bowl to hold on for me. Like little dreams. <laughs> I'm going to put on some coriander, just a few leaves. I'm not going to be fussy about that. Great, so I'll see you at the table. With shadows lengthening in the garden, it was time to escape the chill and move indoors to plate up and sample Vani's centerpiece dishes accompanied by some more delights that she had prepared. How does this look? Wow, that not only looks divine, it smells divine. To complete our vegetarian feast, I've made some mushroom do piazza, some aubergine acha, a selection of breads from the tandoor oven, and jiramata pilaf. Vani, you spoil me. Thank you so much. It's only been a pleasure. If you think vegetables are boring, think again.